If it's your kid asking, it's annoying. If it's a billion people across the globe, it's a challenge and responsibility. Farmers feeding the world. It's about agriculture coming together to increase both hunger solutions and food production. Please learn more and give generously. Congressman, thank you for joining us. Thank you. It's good to be with you. As I understand it, you had some experience in elected office at the state level in Indiana, so uh, perhaps you have not been uh, uh, as surprised or you certainly were more comfortable with the process you were about to get into when you came to Washington. <laughs> well, I don't know if there's a uh, preparation well enough for, for all of us uh, to when you come to Washington and realize uh, how it actually works. But yes, it was very helpful to have the uh, legislative experience in Indiana being in the State House and in the State Senate and coming to Washington giving me kind of a, a jump start and, and understanding how the process works. It's um, There's obviously differences uh, between uh, how the legislative process works here and uh, it did uh, back home. But, you know, it's, uh, it's a great opportunity and really excited about uh, the chance to serve in Washington, but also realizing that we have a lot of problems. I probably didn't uh, uh, really uh, understand the depth of the problems that we have in Washington, D.C. and the federal government. So you've been here a few months now. Um, I, I hesitate to use the word, are you settled in, <laughs> but at, at least uh, uh, do you know your way around? Well, you know, the always, process at least. always learning and uh, always finding, a, you know, the new uh, stairway or, or, you know, uh, hallway to get around the Capitol. But, you know, it's not about a, uh, we are getting settled in. The, the office is coming together very well. We've got great staff and the people back home have been so supportive of what we're trying to accomplish. And, and you know, I couldn't be more grateful for the 3rd Congressional District in Indiana. Uh, it's a strong uh, agricultural community, manufacturing. Uh, we've got uh, you know, lakes, rivers. Uh, it's a great place to raise a family. And knowing their values and knowing what they would like to see Washington uh, become it, it strengthens me in knowing that, that I'm here for the values that I believe in as well because uh, they're, they're so similar. And so it's a great opportunity, very humbled by the chance to, to serve. Tell us about your background. Well, I grew up on a family farm and a farming background. I never imagined I'd ever be in politics. And that wasn't what I set out to do. I wanted to set out to be a, a farmer. And uh, we had a trucking operation. I wanted to expand the trucking operation, grow the family farm. It's a true family operation. Both brothers and a brother-in-law are involved, and we have several employees as well. Raised corn, seed corn, soybeans, potatoes, uh, just a variety, some organic crops as well. and. Uh, got into the trucking industry and, and uh, that was where uh, um, I met the, the government. <laughs> and when uh, a heavily regulated industry like uh, trucking, it, it's, it made it uh, quite difficult to do business. And uh, I understand some of the, the rationale behind some of the standards that are held in the trucking industry, but you know, the government is very, um, is very powerful and can also uh, uh, hurt a small business owner. And, you know, I was just trying to do the best I could and, uh, raising up my family and uh, growing a business and the government made it a little difficult and so that's when I decided to get involved in politics and uh, our oldest uh, son was three weeks old when 9-11 happened and I remember uh, sitting there holding our three-week baby boy and uh, thinking what's the future hold for this little guy and uh, felt a great responsibility and a burden to do something about it and so that's when we decided to get involved in politics and uh, in our government. Given your background in agriculture, I would assume that uh, uh, trying to secure a seat on the Agriculture Committee here in the House was a priority? It was, absolutely. It was uh, my number one priority. And uh, how has the experience been to date? It's been fantastic. You know, the Ag Committee is uh, one made up of uh, small business owners, folks with ag backgrounds, uh, a variety. And agriculture is, is the number one need for, for people. We need to eat. Uh, whether it's uh, you know health care that follows or whether it's you know uh, all the other things that, that we want to do the number one priorities we have to, to be able to eat and so agriculture is so important for not only for our country but for the world in the in the US farmer uh, the American farmer is is far and away uh, more productive more resourceful uh, more uh, conscious of, of the environment than I would say 
farmers around the world. And uh, are, they're so productive that uh, we are feeding the world. Are you excited about the opportunity over the next several months to participate in drafting a new farm bill? Absolutely. You know, I've been in agriculture for a long time, and so uh, I know uh, some of the challenges that uh, the farmers face. And I was back home over the, uh, the district work week and talking with uh, friends and uh, folks at FSA offices around the, the district, farmers. Uh, of course, so we, they had some time because we're getting a lot of rain this spring and aren't out in the fields. But it's, uh, you know, what I continually hear from, from people is that the federal government needs to control spending just like every other small business owner does, every farmer, every family. Uh, have to balance the books. And, uh, and to continue to run in red ink and to continue to compile all of this debt is hurting us in the long run. It's weakening the dollar, it's driving our commodity prices higher, um, it's, uh, it's weakening our country. And it, it's very, it's, it's common sense back home, but only in Washington it doesn't make sense for some reason. And so, yeah, very anxious to get to the farm bill and, uh, and show the uh, show federal government that, that farmers know how to do it. Tell us something about Marlon Stutzman that's not in the official bio. What makes you tick? What do you like to do to relax, have fun, etc.? Well, I love to travel. Uh, I've been on uh, quite a few mission trips around the world. Uh, that really was a great learning opportunity for me to realize how blessed we are in this country and to realize uh, that America has so much to offer as, uh, as well as uh, the uh, just everyday things that we take for granted and our freedom, uh, the, the uh, opportunity in this country is tremendous compared to most countries. And so I love to travel, I uh, love to golf, which uh, there's probably a lot of guys out there that like to do that anyway, but um, it's, uh, it's something in my family. My family is very important to me. I have two young sons, a nine-year-old and a five-year-old, and uh, they mean the world to me and, and my family. That's why we're doing what we're doing. We want to continue to protect the freedom and opportunities for them in their life.